or just milling around the garden, playing football with the pumpkins. And uh, I spotted him and he stayed for about two, three hours. Absolutely no fear of humans. Eating everything from walnuts to garbage, this black bear was exactly what conservation officers dread hearing about. The uh, bear was, uh, became a problem about three weeks ago in, in Rutland where it was into uh, household garbage containers. Uh, at uh, last week it uh, chased a uh, teenage boy and, uh, and went after a dog. Uh, traps were set in the area but uh, it was not conducive to trapping bears because of the fruit trees and the, and the garbage that was in the neighborhood. He wasn't interested. We couldn't offer him anything better than what was already in the community. He, he's up on the table eating apples, right? Like today, I'm cutting the lawns out here. I'm sitting on my tractor, lawn tractor, right? And within five feet, he walks right by me. Just looks at me, goes right towards the trap, of course, and zappo, he got him. A snare was set up to trap what was a two-year-old female black bear. This is more than a humane method. There's, there's nothing inhumane about this. There's no pressure. There's no, uh, there's no body gripping. The bear was tranquilized and while still lucid, was paralyzed. Conservation will examine her. However, due to her physical condition, an underweight garbage bear with a prior injury, she will be euthanized. We suspect that it is a bear that was released in June up on the Aberdeen Plateau. And uh, so in June, it took uh, a little over a month, month and a half to work its way down into Kelowna and get back into trouble. So it would have been a sub-adult that was uh, tranquilized last year and sent to a rehab facility. And unfortunately, this isn't the only rehabilitated bear with an ear tag that conservation is currently dealing with. They keep coming back into the communities, uh, even after they've been rehabilitated. They're around people all the time at the rehabilitation center, so they have no fear of humans. This bear makes for four bears euthanized in the Kelowna area this summer, and conservation says that's four bears too many. Part of the problem might be due to residents who are not being bear aware when it comes to their garbage. Uh, pick your fruit, um, put your garbage in a secure place until garbage day. Uh, walnut trees, the walnuts need to be picked. Uh, we have an absorbent amount of complaints coming in every day of uh, bears uh, into fruit, into garbage and it just makes our job that much tougher. Uh, none of us uh, want to have to uh, deal with bear complaints. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zolinski.